right. This is my two wire spool lazy susan bar stool tool caddy thing. <laughs> Whoa! -ho! All right. So, this is how this works. I got these two wire spools. Um, I forget how, but oh, from when the guys work. And uh, they were just sitting there, and I was putting stuff on top of them. I said to myself, I said, that would be a really cool thing to put some tools on if I could figure out how to do it. And uh, so I was looking at the next door neighbor's house, and he had one of the bar stool, and it has still had the Lazy Susan bearing set at the bottom of it. So what I did was I took it and see that I put it right here between the two. Um, this was a pain in the butt, I just have to tell you right now. Um, I had screwed it down to the top, and then I had to place, uh, screw, uh, make marks at the top of center it, and then make marks on this board right here. And basically take this whole thing apart right here. And trying to put in those these stays back was a pain in the butt. Um, but I did it. Um, basically what I did was get them back. The easiest way I found was to uh, put this back on top without the staves and just put one little tight, think, quarter inch tightness on this. And then put one stave in and bang it in. Put the next stave in and bang it in and do that all the way around. Um, but anyway, so this whole top spins. It's all the way around. So I can go grab something or whatever else. Now, those tools I don't use all the time at the bottom, that doesn't spin. But if I can find another lazy Susan part, I will attach it to the bottom of the stool there, and the bottom will spin too. And then I'll just anchor the feet into the bottom of the shed. So basically, what I have here is I've got little hookies right here that I pre drilled and put them in there so they wouldn't split the wood. And then I took my cords and I'm probably gonna put some paracord or something like around my tools so that way I can have to hang them off the cord but for right now this works um, and then I've got my sanders I've got my spoke shaves and my draw knives and I've got some other jack planes and tiny planes and then I got an orbital sander and then a heat gun and more my saws all up there and I got my my paper my rounds for my orbital sander down here and then at the bottom here, oh, wait a second, I'm going to talk about this. So I'll go back to the top again. And it's like a merry-go-round of tools. It's cool. So this right here, I cut the little notch out so I can hang my coping saw, you know. And then at the bottom here, I did the bigger hookies, um, pre-drilled again, and put them in there. And this one's got my little dust broom, and this has got my, uh, my uh, blah, 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 sand, belt sander and then my electric hand planer and my saw and I've got my fro there's a little compartment that was already cut out in the barrel so I put it right there so it stands up I can grab it if I need to we'll come back over here and I've got the holes uh, I cut them out a little bit bigger for the, with the hand saw so I can put my my uh, hammers in there and this has got my uh, bit and my brace my hand brace and my bit in there and then I've got the saw's all hanging, and that's the skill saw again. And uh, I'm gonna probably put some more stuff on some more ways to finagle things on there. But it was it was probably about an hour and a half project. Um, it was really cool and interesting to be able to reuse this stuff. Thanks for uh, Charles for giving me the barrels, and thanks for the next door neighbor, Jason, for the uh, let me buy the the step stool off of them. But that's it. It's really cool, and it took. Everything, just about everything that was on the shelf off of it, nothing's laid on top of each other. It's a lot easier now, I think, <coughs> to get a hold of stuff. And it's organized, and it's not laying on top of each other. And I'll probably make something at the bottom here or the top where I can put my sandpapers, all my sandpapers, and maybe even a, maybe make a little a flat section there on top of the table so I can maybe hold, like, I could probably put, like, spray paints up top or my stains or whatever. I still have another surface up there. So that's really cool too. And if I wanted to, I could always put, you know, boards across to make little branches of things to hold. But I'm trying to, the reason I put it to the inside um, instead, instead of to the top with the hooks is because I wanted to go ahead and try to keep the center of gravity um, inside that ring right there. So that way things won't tip over and uh, be a mess. But this whole thing spins. This is this is a spinny spinny thing, my spinny thing. And for this right here, for the um, draw knives, I went ahead and took 
245, made 245 degree cuts on the board, and then I cut it down the side and matched the, these ends up, make sure the same distance. And then I used pocket holes to screw that into the back. And they're not going anywhere. So if I probably later on, what you probably could do is put me like cut notches out of here, like V's or something like that. So these will sit right into them. But right now this is this is just fine for my purpose. And um, yeah, so this this these barrels, if you've done this configuration, would be good for a display. You could put hang product from it. You could make dividers going up this way, and even like this right here coming out with a, with a pocket hole jig and whatever else, make shelves and stuff like that, octagonal. Um, there's a lot of things you could do with this. Um, you could use to use the cherry. You could probably use another a barrel, have three, four high or whatever else, and you know, have one on the ground if you wanted to. But I kind of like the metal old metal stool. It's all repurposed. It was missing the seat and stuff like that. It's getting ready to go scrap yard. So, yeah. Um, tell me what you think about it. If you have any questions on how to do this or um, anything like that, or having suggestions that you might think that might improve it, um, let me know. And uh, I would like to hear what you have to think about this. And if you have any suggestions, again, let me know because I, I would like to find different ways to improve it as well. Um, thank you very much for watching my video. Talk to you later. Bye.